ECS reduced for launch. Roger. Five. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go AHF four. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We have ignition. Two, one. And liftoff of the AEHF-4 mission carried by United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket for the United States Air Force. Now 20 seconds into flight. He is going to close with control. You are hearing the voice of Patrick Moore providing launch vehicle Now passing 30 gate. seconds into flight. Mach 1, Atlas 5 now supersonic. Now passing 40 seconds into flight. And we're experiencing a uh, telemetry dropout in the uh, Denver data station. At this point in the flight, RD-180 should be throttling back up to 100% thrust. Passing through max Q. Now passing one minute into flight. Commentators, DSC, I can take over. Go ahead. And VOC, I have data now. Back to you. Now, one minute, 25 seconds into flight, Atlas V rocket now weighs just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of 6,900 pounds per second. Now, one minute, 34 seconds into flight. And we have burnout on all five SRBs. RD-180 throttling back up to full thrust, one minute, 45 seconds into flight. One minute, 50 seconds in. And we have jettison of all five solid rocket boosters. Now passing two minutes into flight. Vehicle is now on cruise loop steering. And vehicle is now passing Mach 5. Now two minutes, 10 seconds into flight. RD-180 pump speeds and injector pressures look good in the uh, full thrust mode. Now two minutes, 25 seconds in, approximately two minutes remaining in the Atlas booster phase of flight. Launch vehicle is now 42 miles in altitude, 81 miles downrange distance, traveling at 5,800 miles per hour. Two minutes, 40 seconds into flight. And RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a 2.5G acceleration limit. Engine response and vehicle acceleration response looks good. Centaur reaction control system is now pressurizing the flight levels. Two minutes, 57 seconds in. Now three minutes into flight. Atlas V is now 63 miles in altitude, 137 miles downrange distance, traveling at 7,500 miles per hour. And pump speeds and injector pressures on the RD-180 look good as they're, as they're uh, throttling to maintain that 2.5G acceleration limit. Approximately one minute remaining to BECO. Standing by for payload fairing jettison. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison. And we have CFLR jettison. Now three minutes, 40 seconds into flight. Vehicle now throttling to 95% thrust. And main engine now throttling to maintain a constant 4.6 G acceleration limit. Now passing four minutes into flight, and we have Centaur boost phase chill down. Approximately 20 seconds remaining till BECO. Pump speeds and injector pressures on the RD-180 continue to look good as they're throttling to maintain the acceleration limit. 10 seconds remaining to BECO. Standing by for BECO. And we have BECO booster engine cutoff. Standing by for stage separation. 
and we have good indication of stage separation. We have pre-start on the all 10 standing by for ignition. And we have ignition on the RL-10. Chamber pressure looks good. Vehicle body rate response looks good. This is the first burn of today's mission. This first burn should last approximately six minutes. RL-10 appears to be performing well. Chamber pressure looks good. Vehicle body rates uh, also looking good. Now passing five minutes, 10 seconds into flight. And five minutes, 25 seconds into flight. This is Atlas Mission Control at T plus five and a half minutes. Patrick Moore just confirmed the successful completion of the early phase of today's flight and all systems continue to operate nominally. The mission is currently in the first of two Centaur engine burns. Our next event, Centaur main engine cutoff, will occur in approximately seven minutes. Uh, we are now approaching the first Centaur main engine cutoff. Uh, let's return to the flight. Continuing to see some periodic thruster firings. And standing by for Miko momentarily. And we have Miko, main engine cutoff. Sent our body rates uh, damping out nicely from the shutdown transients. Uh, now seeing. Uh, RCS thruster activity as expected to uh, maintain vehicle control.